workflow, I want to go through some of the pros and cons of getting such a cheap website. Now, on, on the good side, there's the fact that something like this from WordPress is good enough for what, mo what a lot of start-up home-based businesses would, would need if you're a, a tradesman working from home or you're doing all kinds of different craft type um, businesses you're starting from home you can make a good enough website with with this sort of thing these are all different designs you can choose from they're all well the ones we're looking at now are free they usually throw in a few um, that you can pay for if you want to um, but like these the are free so you don't have to pay a web designer to design them for you um, and the, the they're secure as well. You've got to look after the security of your website. Now with a thing like this, they look after the security for you. As long as you don't do anything stupid like give someone your password or that type of thing. Um, you, you, the updates, you need to update the software that makes the website work. And with WordPress, that's done for you. Um, and they're fairly easy to use. I would highly recommend getting a good book or going to lynda.com to learn about WordPress. lynda.com is a good training website. It's fairly cheap. I think it's about 15 or 20 pounds a month to, to, to join lynda.com and it's a really good training website. You can watch videos how to do things. Um, and if you look at this, the, the, the website I made, my website it, it cost ten pounds when I bought the domain name it cost me ten pounds um, it's it's an American firm so that goes up and down with the exchange rate but it's not expensive um, what else can I tell you oh, another good thing is you, you're in charge you don't need a web designer every time you want to make a small change it could cost a fortune for this you know startup business just want to make a small change and you've got to pay someone it puts you off now let's look at some of the cons what I wanted to show you was upgrades let's have a see if we can find the upgrades um, If you've got your own website, you, you kind of uh, you're in charge. Now, the bogey with this sort of thing is you're not in charge. Right, if you add a domain name. That's seventeen dollars, which when I bought mine, it was equivalent to about ten English pounds. Um, if you want to put videos on your site, they'll charge you sixty dollars a year. If you want a custom design, you've got to pay for it. This the start from thirty dollars a year. If you want a load of web space, most people won't need that much web space. But if you want a load of web space, you've got to pay extra. Uh, if you want to they put adverts on your website, or sometimes it depends how busy your website is. You might not get any adverts, but you could get adverts if your website gets busy. Uh, and if you want them to take the advert adverts off, that'll charge you twenty nine dollars ninety seven. Um, and if you want other people to help you maintain the site if you want your friends to kind of um, you, you can have other users on a wordpress blog or website you've got to pay extra if you want more than 35 users um, all kinds of different things that they'll charge you extra for if you want to move your website to another to free hosting uh, to another way of hosting it uh, to another web company basically uh, they'll charge you $120 if, they, if you want them to do it for you um, but that's one of the big downsides every extra you want they'll charge you for um, having said that it, this is still a good cheap way for um, a, a startup business to or especially a home based a very small home based startup business can get a good looking website at, you know for a reasonable price see, uh, show you mine there we go this this cost 
cost me £10. It, it looks clean and tidy. It's um, I put um, videos in from YouTube so people can actually, instead of reading all the text, they can uh, just watch the video. It's nice and easy. Step two how to change your home page. This is about how to um, make slight changes to your site, add pictures, things like that. But this cost me £10 a year. So it's uh, it, it is a really cheap way. And I've got my own domain name. With this one it's philipgledhill.org. Um, you can pick any domain name that's available. You can, you can register it. They only do .com, .net and .org with WordPress. They don't do the English ones. If you, if you want to do that, you've got to register it yourself and then um, kind of use it on your WordPress site. Um, well, I think that's about it. I do hope you consider you getting a, a cheap... Well, I, I think you should get a free WordPress site. Try it out and see what you think. And if, it's, if you think it's a good idea, just upgrade and buy a domain name. I'll just quickly show you how you get to domain names and then uh, you'll know what you're doing. Go to the store. There we are. Then there's a bit here that says add a domain. Just click the button to buy and it'll take you through a, a, a process to buy a domain name. It's really easy. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, I do hope you give WordPress a try. Try it out, try the free version and see what you think. Thanks, bye.